everyone, Kawai Goo here, here to react to episode 8 of Sabakui Bisco. Last time when we left off, Milo and Bisco, they met up with Paolo once again. Paolo uh, finally met Bisco and Milo. Um, they fall off that giant whale thing. Um, and then Paolo, she, afterwards, she doesn't hate Bisco anymore. And then she now went to go fight Daryl Kurokawa, who... Uh, I guess kidnapped or like captured Pawu and basically brainwashed her whole police team. And then now Milo is going to go rescue her after fighting and knocking out Bisco. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. Here we go, guys. Episode 8 of Sabakui Bisco. Oh, man. Is this episode going to top last episode? And, it, and the governor is just playing... Did I say General Kurokawa? Governor Kurokawa. Yeah, I actually don't know if I said General or Governor. Either way, why is he just playing cards? Yeesh. Oh! Was that your doing? Oh, it's Milo! Oh my god, is Milo really gonna be able to take down the governor all by himself? Or at least for his sister all by himself? June? Oh, fuck. She fucked. He fucked her up. Oh, no. Fuck. Yeah, to see now you can really understand his anger and his drive to save her as soon as possible. Oh, the general, the, the governor is so fucked up. Jesus Christ. However, you gotta love how even though Pao's beaten, burned, tortured in various different ways, he still isn't gonna, like, she's still trash-talking Kurokawa and getting on his nerves. Ah, uh, she's such, such a badass in that, right? Just goes to show, she's not easy to break. Well, I already know he's not going to give him Bisco. He's not going to go with the second demand. At least I'm pretty sure you won't.
Yeah, I'm surprised he's able to reach Kar Karakawa so easily. Doesn't he have guards and all that? Or did Milo take him out too? Oh, oh, here we go. I love my Let's see what you can do. Numb shroom spores. That's what happens when you spend time with the mushroom keeper. Wait, well, how's he not affect? Wait, shouldn't he? Yeah, how's he not affected? Oh! <gasps> Damn! Oh my god, you just gutted him! Oh, you... Where did that come from? Of course he wasn't be Ah, god damn it. Of course he wasn't going to be taken out that easily. Puppet room? Are you kidding me? I'm guessing that's how he controlled the entire police department. So he must, I'm guessing he was the mushroom keeper that poisoned the village that old couple uh, was living at. Or maybe, was that, or maybe that was really just a lie. I don't know. Extending the lives of the rusted?
Jesus. Oh, would you get rat out your friends or become his puppet? That's two very unfavorable options. And here it comes. Disco! Who's... Might still be weak, but it's still great that he's here. Is that Javi? That's Javi. What happened to this man? Or is he, is he feigning in insanity or... Jesus. Don't lo I hate to see Jabby like this. Oh yeah, yeah, he has to be feigning. He did all that while he was on the phone. Hey! Oh yeah, even Kurokawa could tell. Last decade. Of course, he's the reason behind all this. <laughs> he's the reason behind every single bad thing in this series, I'm sure. Oh, that's what it seems like. Holy shit! Yeah, looks like uh, Bisco still has a lot of kick inside of him. Uh, I guess not. Oh no, it's a puppet shroom. Oh shit. And there's only one vial too. Well as of right now, so there might be a time where I'm already I'm already gonna guess it right now. I'm already gonna predict it right now. Even though my predictions are shit, I'm already gonna say it right now. There might be a time where Milo had to There may there might be a time where Milo have will have to choose between using the vial on Bisco or her sister. His sister. I hope it doesn't come to that, but we'll see. Oh my god, this man cannot be stopped!
Oh my god, are you kidding me? Fucking hell, you put him in a lose-lose situation? Oh my god, this two-faced bastard! This two-faced piece- oh no, wait, 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 no, Jabby! Come on, J J Jabby's still in the play- in the game! Yo! <laughs> oh, that could work. That could happen. Wait, nah. That wasn't bit. Nah, that wasn't mile. Of, that wasn't Bisco firing the arrows. <laughs> Fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. There it is. Right on. Pretty much right on cue. Oh, good shit, Javi. I prefer it was it would be Bisco or Milo that saves her, but you know what? Yeah. Props to you too. Beggars can't be choosers. I just want someone to rescue my girl. Oh my god, she could still stand. Uh, maybe they didn't torture her that bad. <laughs> Jabby the MVP. Uh oh. Oh my god, you know, that that uh, that last racing that Jabby has is already scaring me because we all know by now that any mushroom or any like arrow, blade, weapon could be laced with poison or mushrooms, like, ah. Uh. Oh my god. Of course, y'all aren't y'all y'all aren't out of the woods just yet. <laughs> Parrot. Of course, he's still alive. So I guess it looks like Jab is going up, is going for another like last stand type of deal. Ah, crap! This time I don't think he's gonna. This time I'm actually afraid that he might not make it out of this. Oh no! Come on, Javi. Oh my god. Oh no, he's affected with rust. Oh, he's still running. Oh my god. God, they're too strong. Akgawa! Oh, 
Fuck Gawa. Thanks, I. Thank God, but oh shit. No, 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 it's not. No, it's too early for this shit, man. Don't do this to me. Oh my God, no, don't do this to me. Come on, don't do this to me. Oh no. Stop, stop. Oh my God. <laughs> Ah, what the hell? Oh my god. Everything just went to hell in this episode. But yeah, overall, oh my god, fantastic episode of Savakui Bisco. The showdown with the governor was, oh my god, it was so intense. I mean, Milo and Bisco, they fought well, but holy shit. The governor was just pulling all sorts of dirty tricks, like, good god. He definitely showed in this episode why he's just a force to be reckoned with. Like, the man just, just does not play fair. He's got handheld crossbows with bolt slaves with poison and rust. He's got puppet shrooms. Not to mention all his fucking minions. Like, it's... And also, he's voiced by Kendro's, Kendro's Tudo, so that also helps. But god damn... Of course, Javi was the absolute MVP in this episode. Coming in to save Bisco Milo. In fact, all three of our main characters he rescued. Because he, he freed Pawu and then he uh, saved Bisco and Milo from the governor. Who, I'm pretty sure shouldn't still be alive, but... Well, he's still alive, because I'm pretty sure he is the main antagonist of the series, after all. But god damn, this this episode was just full of good shit, man. My We got we saw Milo kicking ass, we saw Bisco kicking ass, we saw Javi kicking ass for a little while before he got netted. And my seeing Milo taking all those shots was oh my god. It was just so awesome. And I I'm I'm pretty sure he's not gonna die. Let's let's be real. He's not gonna die, but that scene was definitely tragic nonetheless. I'm really... See, I'm definitely wondering how they're gonna... How he's gonna survive all this. Oh my god, the cliff... And the cliffhanger this episode left off on was... Evil! Absolutely evil! I expect this shit from Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer. Not this series. In fact, I got enough of the... Of Demon Slayers and Attack on Titan's cliffhangers. I don't need a third show to pile on the cliffhangers. Like, come on! You're killing me. You're killing me, Winter 2022. You're killing me with these cliffhangers. Bro, I definitely can't wait to wait for the, for the next episode. Oh my god. B Sabakui Bisco. It's, just, it's been so good so far. Of course, not as good as, say, other shows like Attack on Titan or Demon Slayer. But it's still really fucking good in its own right. I am thoroughly enjoying this series. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Support me on Patreon. Link in the description down below. And I will see you guys next time.